Hi, everybody. How are you doing? It's already the beginning of November, and it's time for the animal lessons for the month of November. And first of all, apologies that I've been away for a little bit. Um, there's been a lot of stuff going on, which the animals are reflecting as well, which I'll get to in a second. So thank you for watching this video and for being here. I really appreciate it. So November, I've got whole slew of notes right here. <laughs> so November. So here's how this works. Through the whole month of October, all the different animal communication readings that I have, those are clearly the lessons that those animals are working on with their humans. The really cool thing though is because we're all connected and we're all from the divine, there's little threads of things that are meant for me as well as meant for all of you. And those are the threads that the animals then at the end of October help me go back and reflect and pull out the threads that are for everybody. So, which is just, I think so amazing that even though they have specific lessons and homework for every single person that does an animal communication reading. They have a message for every single one of you that specialize with your relationship. They also have a broader message for all of us. I just, I'm just, I just love it. I love how it's focused and yet it's also broad. So, and I say this because anybody that's had a reading that is still confidential, private, not shared. You can trust that. Uh, it, it's just really kind of cool how we really are all connected. And there is one big web of everything and we're a part of it. It's just fascinating. Okay, so sorry for the ramble. So here we go. I'm going to grab my notebook just to make sure I don't miss anything. So the messages in that came through in October were really kind of interesting because the first part of October was one way and the second part of October was yet a nuanced or another kind of direction or clarification. Um so it wasn't just like one big thing. It is, <laughs> but there's nuances that have because they're setting us up for all the things that are happening in October, in November. See, I'm getting confused. In November, uh, because November, with all the eclipses that are starting again, there is a lot of change coming in November. So with what they were working on in October, which they're working through with us in November to help us set up and help us prepare us for the change and navigate kind of sail through the change is what they're saying to me right now to help us sail through the change and not get too battered. Um, this is what they're helping us to do. So the first part of this is expressing our needs. This is really hard for a lot of us, particularly women, I will say, to express our needs. And I, they keep having me point like right here, because particularly on me, my needs sit right here and I can't vocalize them. I can't get them out. They get, you know, this is a whole thing that I'm working on right now. So they want us to express our needs. They want us to stop hiding those needs, stop pushing them down, get them out. Um, your need is actually what is needed now. It's your piece of pie. What you need is what your is what is the type of pie that you're baking. I have this whole analogy about everybody brings a piece of pie to the party. Everybody's pie is fabulous and worthful. I may not particularly care for that piece of pie, but I can still see the craftsmanship in that pie. Bring it to the party. <laughs> so that's what they mean by your need is needed now. Your piece of pie is needed now to be able to express your need that's what's needed also for the larger collective. So express your need, stop hiding them, be present, um, and don't look to others to help you to help you or to express that need for you. We have to say it ourselves. Okay. Part one. Part two. Uh, part two. This is a little bit of like a, like a hello, uh, you're spread too thin. Um, you I need to take uh, your foot off the proverbial gas. Uh, you need to really kind of, it's okay to stay in bed for a day here or there. It's okay to just want to go outside and walk the walk with the dog or walk with the cat or if you walk your rabbit, whatever. But walk with, be with, but it's this idea of spreading oneself too thin. When we're spread ourselves to, when we've spread ourselves too thin, we can't be with, we can't be 
with the moment, in the moment. Um, we also, when we're spread too thin, we tend to, we're tend to spread it. We have a tendency to spread ourselves too thin when we're working on living up to other people's expectations as whether, as well as other people's perceptions of us and our perceptions of their perceptions, as well as our perceptions of their expectations, which mean none of this is probably true. So we end up spreading ourselves too thin. We end up trying to do too much. So what they're trying to say is we need to express our needs and we need to slow down a little bit so that we can truly express our needs. Our need might even be, hey, I need to take today off. I need to not cook dinner for everybody for the 15th million time today, somebody needs to cook dinner for me. <laughs> it could be, um, I just need to have some quiet time. I need to spend time with you. I need to reconnect with somebody, whatever that is. But we need to be able to slow down, take our foot off the brake, spread ourselves a little bit more thick in a particular area so that we really can express our needs. Um, so again, this is what the animals were working on with all of us in October. They want us to kind of be, they want not kind of, they want us to be aware of this as we move into November, because there's a whole lot of change coming. As we know, it's been building, it's been building, it's going to continue to build. We've got some bigger events um, happening up astrologically this month. Um, so look to your animals this month, November, look to them and let them help you find what that need is. And again, they're showing me right here. Let them help you find what that need is right here. Let them help you express that need. Even if you're telling just them, um, even if you're telling them just in your mind, you don't have, you know, however that is, just let it start to come out, but also work with them on identifying where you're spreading yourself too thin. And you can look to them for behavior. Like say you're like really tired and they keep like, heading out to the bedroom. Like my dog, when he knows I'm tired and it's time to go to bed, he actually goes to the bedroom and he lays on the bed with his favorite stuffed animal. And he just looks at me and he won't come out. He just won't come out. He's like, no, it's time for bed. Um, they'll do things like that. They'll trip you when they want you to stop. And, you know, they'll break your stride um, when you're moving things too fast, uh, when you've got too much gas on the, or too much pedal on the gas too, you know what I mean? Um, so look to them. They're going to try to help you express your need and find where yourself spread yourself too thin and work with them in that regard to help you sail through November and not get your sails so tattered. I hope that makes sense. I would so love it if you would tell me how these messages run to resonate with you, how your animals are helping you with this, what you're finding. Leave notes in the comments below. Follow me on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, all the good things. Just let me know. I'm just curious to see how things are working with you and your animals because they are here to help us connect to our best lives. And I'm just so excited for all of us as we begin to move forward in all of this fantastic work. So let me know. Hope to hear from you and I will see you soon. Thanks for being here.